campaign 2016, Donald Trump's campaign manager was once again involved in a physical encounter with someone at a Trump rally. It happened yesterday in Tucson, Arizona. The footage right there appears to show Corey Lewandowski reaching for the man's collar as a member of Trump's security detail grabs him from behind. But Trump's camp is giving a different story. A spokesperson says someone else grabbed the man. And Trump says the protesters crashing his rallies need to start taking the blame. Here's CBS 4's Brooke Silva. Donald Trump shifted responsibility away from his supporters for a contentious rally in Arizona Saturday night. A protester was beaten while being escorted from the venue, but on ABC's This Week, Trump said the attack was provoked. He or his partner was wearing a Ku Klux Klan outfit. So you're blaming the educators. protesters, not the person who actually punched and kicked the protester? No, I'm, I'm saying this. These are professional agitators. Sunday night, Trump announced plans to release a list of five to ten judges he'd potentially nominate to the Supreme Court, an effort to calm conservative concerns about who he'd pick. I will guarantee that those are going to be the first judges that I put up for nomination. His Republican opponents, with little or no chance to win the party's nomination outright, are now focused on stopping Trump from earning a majority of delegates. Nobody's going to have the delegates they need going to the convention. Everyone will fall short. And the convention, by the way, is an extension of the political process. Democratic candidate Bernie Sanders is also counting delegates, hoping some of Hillary Clinton's superdelegates will switch sides. To say to a superdelegate, Bernie Sanders won your state by 20 or 30 points, you know, you might want to listen to your state. Uh, you know, I think that that is common sense. Clinton returns to the campaign trail Monday with an event in Arizona. Brooke Silva Braga for CBS News.